my three biggest mistakes actually kept me from making actually an even better career that I have already done. So I worked for big companies and was in the senior to upper management levels, but I could have gone a little bit further if I had actually had developed these three skills. Find out more about those by watching this video until the end. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. If you don't want to miss any of my content and want to have the latest tips, tricks, and tools about leadership for entrepreneurs, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the button below this video, the red button, and also switch on the bell so that you're always informed about the newest content. Now, before my entrepreneurial career and my self-employed career, I was a senior and top manager with big companies. And uh, if you want to get there, first of all, okay, you have to have certain knowledge, talent, and also ambition. You have to never give up and all that. But um, I thought back uh, many times about the things that I lacked because I was and I'm still I, 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 I am still of the opinion that with my skills and my ambition and my talent I could have gone much further but I actually missed three major traits or was not good enough in these traits to actually make it to the highest echelons of uh, the top companies of the world and I'd like to share these three mistakes with you today because you must not make these mistakes and what you have to do, you have to develop these traits in order to be successful. Trait number one is diplomacy. Now, what is diplomacy? Diplomacy for me is actually to uh, listen to the other person and to really understand the other person's point of view. Then to present your point of view and then to discuss the pros and cons of each other's point of view to finally reach a common uh, agreement and um, agreement that is the best that you can uh, achieve for both parties or for several parties. Now, I actually was not very good at this. I uh, did not try to understand all the time the other person's point of view. I wanted things to go my way, to be in the lead, uh, quite a dominant character, which on one hand is good, but on the other hand has to be <clears throat> well also dominated a little bit so lack of diplomacy is the first trait that I did not have and that you have to develop when you're thinking about you know um, negotiating with banks negotiating with your investors negotiating with your shareholders other stakeholders you need diplomacy so trait number one to be successful and the trait that I personally had not developed enough is diplomacy the skill number two is political aptitude. Now, in the old days, I thought that politics was actually something purely negative, that it had to do something with abusing other people, um, with, uh, you know, pretending something and playing certain games uh, without having the actual skill to be in the position where you had to be. Now, that does hold true, but in the positive sense, you still need politics, which means you have to uh, try to get into a position of power in order to achieve certain goals, be able to mode other others to follow you and together work on this mission. That is the positive interpretation of politics that I kind of missed. So I thought uh, of politics only in a negative way. If you're looking at it as a means of achieving power in the positive sense and using that power to achieve positive things together with your team, then politics is a very, very, very powerful tool and something that you actually need to develop. So you need to become kind of a political animal in the positive sense of the word to become a successful entrepreneur. Trait number two, skill number two that I definitely missed when I was working as a manager in the old days in these big organizations was being relaxed. So to be quite honest, being relaxed is something that I have only developed over the last three to four years. I'm still working on it. In one of my other videos, I told you that my vision is to be independent, free and relaxed. 
And I would actually say that the number three point, the being relaxed, is the hardest one for me. And I'm still working on it, making a lot of progress, because I'm also conscious about it. But you know, being relaxed actually means taking things as they are and then looking for solutions. Being relaxed means not judging other people. Being relaxed means not blaming about a certain situation. Being relaxed means not whinging about uh, what has happened to you. That is all being relaxed. Is also not crying over spilt milk, you know, to let the past behind you and to live in the moment and to plan for the future. That is being relaxed. And that is what you definitely need as an entrepreneur in the situation of extreme pressure in which you're in. So if we're looking at this, diplomacy, political aptitude, and the attitude of being relaxed are three important traits of successful entrepreneurs. Write them down and ask yourself what you can do to work on those look at situations where you are in and how you can improve your diplomacy, your political aptitude and your relaxedness. For example, in terms of diplomacy, go into a meeting and tell yourself the first thing that I'm going to do is to listen to the other person and to ask questions. In terms of political aptitude, ask yourself, how can I get into a position of power uh, by, for example, moting others to help me because I know how that will be of advantage to them and then use this to fulfill your mission. And in terms of being relaxed, always try, for example, this exercise. Take a step back. Now, for example, a very simple thing is when you get an email that you're really, really angry about, don't answer immediately. Put it into a separate place in your email system and answer the following day. You would be surprised how much more relaxed and constructive your answer will be. Now, diplomacy, political aptitude and being relaxed. Three important traits from entrepreneurs that I have developed a little bit too late. Now I'm much, much further. I can only urge you to take this seriously and to follow this advice and you will be very, very successful as an entrepreneur. The LIFE program actually teaches you the traits and skills and methods and tips and tools of the most successful entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial leaders worldwide. So if you actually would like to become a better leader and if you want to master your challenges much, much better, please now click on uh, the uh, link underneath this video and book a free session with me so that we can speak about your challenges and I can share my experience with you you can share your experiences with me and together we will find a solution we're going to sit together um, remotely obviously and go through your situation and think you know what could be the best solution for you Please click on the link which will lead you to a questionnaire that you're going to fill in. And based on that, we are both very much prepared for a constructive session. I'm actually looking forward to speaking to you. And don't forget, lead yourself.